We all know that riprap is good to fish. Riprap is those big chunk rocks that's piled up around boat ramps. They have them around boat ramps. They have them around uh, uh, bridge pilings and stuff like that. A lot of people put them out in front of the yards. They're there to break up the water and keep the shore from washing out is what a riprap is. R-I-P, R-A-P, rip rap. It's chunk rocks. They're usually white looking rocks. And riprap's are kind of pretty, and they, they, but they really attract a whole lot of fish for a lot of various reasons. What is one critical thing that we need to make sure that we know and we realize and that we always fish correctly about riprap?s This is a pretty cool tip. Y'all gonna enjoy this one. Good morning, guys and girls. July 12th. July 12th. Proverbs. <laughs> Y'all know how I love Proverbs. Proverbs 18:12 says, "Before destruction." The heart of a man is haughty. Ooh. The heart of a man is haughty, full of pride. And before honor is humility. You want honor in your life? You want people to honor what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're, how you're living? Humility. It says right here in Proverbs, before destruction, before ruin, the heart of a man is haughty, prideful. Before honor is humility. Here's what I wrote about that. One of the nice, one of the things I've noticed about the best fishermen is people who talk a lot about them. People talk a lot about them. They talk a lot about people like Bill Dance and Roland Martin and Hank Parker and Denny Brower and Kevin Van Dam and on and on and on and on. And, uh, and those names change, you know, as time goes by, but they talk about the, the good fishermen. They talk about the, the best baseball players, the best football players. They talk about the best governors, the best... I don't know how many great congressmen we have, but, but they talk, they, whatever you're good at, they talk about the guys that's the very best about it, the girls that's the very best about it. Now, not all that talk is good. There's always some envy involved. You know, when you're really good at something, there's going to be a people that envy you, and they're going to say bad things about you. But most of the talk you hear about the good fishermen's good. It's good talk when they talk about those guys I just mentioned and, and lots of others. This is true on the local level as well as on the national bass fishing events. However, just the opposite is true also, and this is so, it's so cool. Those not so good fishermen are always talking about themselves. So if you're really, really good, people are talking about you. And those that are kind of what bass fishing pros call them wannabes, they're always talking about themselves. They're always bragging on what they, what, what, what they do. The Bible gives us a big warning about being haughty or prideful. As it says in today's verse, pride will destroy us before destruction. Before destruction, before we are destroyed, the heart of the man is haughty, prideful. Pride's easy when we do well, and it feels good. And being prideful feels good. That's why we do it. We love it when folks brag about us, even if we're the ones doing the bragging. We like it. On the flip side... You know, people talk about, uh, don't break your arm there, Jimmy. Don't break your arm. What, what do you mean, break my arm? Patting yourself on the back. Don't break your arm. Patting yourself on the back. Pride's easy, and it feels good. It really does. Pride feels good. On the flip side, and here's an amazing deal. Real humility from the heart. You can't fake being humble. Humility comes from the heart. Real humility from the heart will bring you honor. It's what it says right here in Proverbs. Before honor is humility. Before destruction is pride. Humility comes from winning and knowing and acknowledging exactly where that victory comes from. That's the trick right there. You have problems with bragging about yourself. You have problems with pride at times. You hear somebody talk about how prideful you might be. A lot of times you're prideful and we don't even know it. Uh... And you think, I need to be humble. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honored. I need to be humble. There's the trick right there. Knowing where that victory comes from. Knowing where that success comes from. It comes from God. Every single victory comes from God. When we realize that, when we acknowledge that, when we let other people know that, when we thank God for the victories we have in our life, that's how we develop humility in our life. And I'm one of those that believe humility definitely needs to be developed because I'm going to tell you, we like for people to pat us on the back. Nobody will do it. Sometimes we'll do it ourselves. We'll pat ourselves on the back. 
But God says that creates pride. God says that pride destroys you. God says that humility brings you honor. Honor from who? Honor from men? Sure. Honor from God? Absolutely positive. Here's our tip today. We're talking about rip raps. Those rock jetties and rock walls and stuff that break up the, the water as the waves crash in on the bank. Protect the shoreline. When fishing rip rap, play close attention to how far out the rocks extend under the water. So your rocks are coming out. They're down the bank. They come down the bank. It rip raps easy to find because it's up on the bank also. You see those rocks. Usually the rocks are white or gray looking. Pay attention to where those rocks end. How far can they come out under the water? Pay attention to where they lay in. Fish your lure, whatever bait you're fishing, fish your lure all the way back to where the rocks end. The rocks may come out a couple foot away from the, the, the shoreline. They may come out six or eight foot. They may come out 15 or 20 foot. They may be down in 15 or 20 foot of water. What you have created there at that end of those rocks is a junction area where the rocks ends, where the rest of the, the natural bottom starts. That's a junction area. They like to hang out there. A lot of times they hang out there when they're really not feeding, but they're hanging out there and they can still be caught. And then as they move, they move them shallow and we, we catch them. Most of the fish we catch on a rip are feeding, but you can catch them right in that area where the rocks end, even when they're not feeding. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great day. And remember, honor comes when you're humble. Also remember, I sure do love you.